it's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for another Black Ink Crew Chicago review. So let's just get right into it. Everybody get back from Cabo, okay? All of the drama that happened in Cabo. So we back in Chicago. But we bringing a little bit of the Cabo back with us to Chicago so we can let Van know what happened since he couldn't come because he's on probation, okay? Because y'all don't, niggas gotta be on probation for their whole life when they get out of jail. It's just fucking ridiculous to me. The man can't take a trip to Mexico. God damn it, it's in the same continent. It's ridiculous. They tell him what happened with Ryan and Rachel and, and Kat and he is just starting to feel some type of way because it's like, Ryan, you're not taking responsibility. And it's like, Van, you're one to talk. But you know what? Since you took responsibility last episode, I'm going to go ahead and let that go, brother. You go ahead and be righteous. Zion gets home to a pissed off Ashley, okay? He been texting and talking to her ever since he got back in town. She been staying over there with her mama. She come home, she all mad. She don't want to speak to him. And he like, what is the problem? I just talked to you via text message. What is the fucking problem? Why you mad now? Okay? Let me know something. You wasn't answering the phone when I was calling you, Don. Okay? And I'm pregnant and the baby wasn't moving and my mama had to take me to the hospital. Well, all you text me was you was going over to your mama house. Why didn't you text me that it was an emergency? You know I I'd die for one of my kids. I'd be right home if you needed me. So was pissed off, but he had to calm down because he was back to get the kitty cats. Okay? And of course, as horny as Ashley normally is, she's even more hornier now. So she wants the pickle. So she tells him to come in the room with a real pickle and a chocolate pickle because <laughs> it's time to get it in. So Ryan meets with his parents so that he can tell them about what happened on the trip and how Kat is trying to ruin his family and his relationship with Rachel, bringing up, oh shit. I wouldn't even talk about this conversation if it were not for the fact that Ryan's mother, who said that she felt like Kat was a daughter to her, if she is trying to ruin their family, she's out. It's OV. And I'm just like, so you're not gonna impress any responsibility upon your son? He's dirty. He's trashy. He's messy. He's cheating. Like, why is it okay for you to get mad at Kat when Kat was the one that did the right thing? At the end of the day, we saying Kat is stupid because as a grown-ass woman, you just don't do shit like that. If you're going to put yourself in a situation, you don't go and ruin their relationship because you feel guilty. Especially when you already knew what was going on ahead of time. It's just some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's self-serving. It's not for the betterment of anybody else in the group. But she was right at the end of the day. She told the truth at the end of the day. So, you can't be mad at the one that's telling the truth. Be mad at the one that's fucking lying. Lily and Junior are confusing the fuck out of me, okay? Either y'all fuck with each other or y'all don't fuck with each other. Either you fucking with Plug or you fucking with Junior. You's another old sloppy ass female, okay? You are very sloppy with your shit. And I don't really like it. You a sloppy drunk and you sloppy when it comes to your relationships. I don't know what the hell is going on with you and Junior, but y'all both retarded, okay? And I'm explaining why. They had a whole conversation telling us how they're good now. They decided to keep it professional, but they still have their fun. Therefore, nobody should be getting mad about anybody else's situations because y'all are not really together. Van jokingly said they should get heart tattoos on their middle fingers to be like, fuck love together. And like two stupid people that have no idea what's going on in their relationship they decide to do it even though they're not together okay and i'm just like what the fuck really even the producers are looking at lily like bitch ain't you fucking with him and ain't you still fucking with him what is going on this is sloppy this is messy okay you can't get mad at anybody but yourself when you bring them in the same room together and think it's gonna be old hunky dory no the fuck it's not it's gonna be drama just like it would be if he would have brought a girl and had her all in everybody face introducing them and shit you would have felt some type of way you flipped out over nothing let alone if this the shoe was on the other foot bitch okay look she called herself cooking dinner for plug and trying to be all romantic with him okay cha 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 and then she turned around and invite him to the party that Charmaine, Danielle, and Van decide to throw for Kat to make her feel better because she's out here feeling all destitute and lonely and depressed. Especially with this shit going on with Ryan who has not been at the shop this past week. So they decided they just gonna go ahead and throw her a party because it's her birthday and they want her to feel loved. Okay? And Lily takes this opportunity to invite Plug there. Are you a couple or not, bitch? Or you are not? Nikki and Flora finally move in together. Their apartment is nice as hell. Okay, I love me, you know, tall ceilings and boo-boo windows. I love that. That apartment was nice. Y'all was looking hella ritzy. I was hell for it. 
I don't think Ford has a clue what he's getting himself into talking about, yeah, man, this still the, this still the man pad. You know what I'm saying? We can still come here and play ball in the middle of us moving furniture. I'll put this shit down on the stairs right now and start playing basketball, nigga. She ain't rule, ruling nothing in here. Ford, it's over, honey. It's over. It's over. She runs it. It has been run. It is done. Cat is back in Chicago and her and Van have a conversation all on their own by the water somewhere. And she tells him her account of how Ryan has continued to text and call her ever since he and Rachel have been back together. And how he's made it seem like he feels some type of way for her that's stronger and more serious than a brother relationship. She's spilling the tea. Van is just getting even more upset. That's what led him to decide to throw her a party. Because it was like, I mean, fuck, she was throwing a pity party for herself. Why not join in and throw her a pity birthday party, bitch? Charmaine gets some news from her agents. Apparently, she got a role in a movie. The director just said they wanted Charmaine, okay? She don't even have to try out. She don't even have to come in and audition. It's just for her. It's for Charmaine. And I was like, oh, Charmaine, yes, you goofy, bitch. I'm happy for you. No shade. Really, I am. I was like actually smiling as I was watching her flip out and feeling it for her. Like, girl, do your thing. Do your thing. So Ryan and Rachel go on a date. And it goes something like this. So why are we here? I mean, I just, I don't know how to explain to you like how I fucked up. I'm sorry that I even put you in this position. But wait, wait. We just had a conversation that said we were both going to grow the fuck up after seven years of not being together. And we were going to be adults for us and for our family. And then right after that, you turn around and act like a fucking teenager. It should have never happened, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I should have I should have handled it better. I should have said something, you know, before we went there and everything. I should have said something before it all came out. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to be with you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? You my woman. You the only person I want to be with. I just want to make this work. Tell me what I got to do to make this back right with you. I mean, I don't want to feel like you're wasting my time. And that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. So, I don't know. They still together. They setting it up like she didn't know. But her reaction told us that she knew. Which makes this next scene very confusing for me. Okay? They have a scene in which they talk about something that happened the night before. When Rachel and her cousin showed up to the shop looking for Kat. And you could hear the cousin outside the door. Where Kat at? I'ma beat that bitch ass. Where's Kat? And if Rachel and her cousin showing up to jump Cat, I got a problem with that. Because when, when Cat was in your face and giving you the real, you didn't have no aggression towards her. All your aggression was going towards that producer. Now you're trying to be fake mad with Ryan and show up to fight her. You need to get your fucking life together. This is about you and your man. This is not about Cat. Like I said, Kat has her faults, but you fighting her is not going to serve any purpose at all. And if you wanted to fight her, you should have hit her in the fucking face when she was telling you that shit. Why are you going to wait until you come home to get your cousin to come with you? That's some little girl shit. Either don't be about it or be about it. Either get the fuck over it or don't. Either fuck with him or don't fuck with him. But make a decision, bitch. You can't always be towing the line. So it's a surprise party for Kat, right? Now, last time I checked... Kat got into it with almost all of these niggas' girlfriends because she didn't kiss and made out with almost all of them, okay? Especially Nikki. So why Nikki and Ashley were there so happy to hug her and tell her happy birthday, bitch? I do not know, okay? I was confused about that. But you know what? Whatever, okay? Then Plug show up to the party after Kat get there and we do the, you know, we love cats and we happy and Nymag is your family, girl, and all of this shit. After we do that, Plug gets there and then Julia peeps. And I'm like, Junior, you didn't realize that was him as soon as he walked through the door. It took this nigga like 10 minutes to realize who was walking around the room looking like little Mexican Jesus with her. Okay? And I was just like, well, okay. So this about to be a problem. But instead of going straight towards dude and saying whatever the issue was or leaving or whatever, he decides to be like a bitch about it. Saying shit all loud, acting up, you know, doing a little slick shit. When he realized he wasn't getting a rise out of Plug, he decided to pull Plug in the back and talk to him man to man about Lily not being a loyal woman. And it's like, nigga, really? 
Really? Really? Like, even though Lily is foul, and she's stupid for bringing Plug to the shop knowing y'all still fucking with one another. At the end of the day, Junior, you was acting like a bitch. You the main one talking about y'all trying to keep it for professional, but you getting mad when she brought dude in there? All because that's the dude that she cheated on you with? Boy, bye. Grow the fuck up. That was so uncalled for. They got into a whole fucking fight and a serious fight. Security was coming out of everywhere. This is the type of security I like where they blend in with the crowd so you don't know who's security and who's just there for the party. I can appreciate that. So they, you know, fight. Security break it up. They in the hallway. Junior get loose and run towards him, but I think security got to him before anything happened. They get out into the parking lot. Lily is trying to get plug crazy ass and his homeboy in the car. They get in the car. Uh, Van was like, Lily, you okay? And the homeboy was like, man, y'all some bitches. A whole bunch of bitch ass niggas flying around from the Latino community on this episode, okay? Just something I noticed. I ain't even saying I'm feeling no type of way. Just saying I noticed. You know, I feel like most of the time y'all be a part of the clique. Most of the time, you know, but whatever. I, just, I ain't gonna lie. I was just, slight mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Just like. I was just like, anyway, so Van was like, bitch, okay, so he come downstairs. I heard when the, first, when the fight first broke out, I heard Jen say he better not be Van. But now Van running his ass downstairs to go get with partner for calling him a bitch. So they get downstairs and Van throw a punch. I think the punch connected because they didn't show the punch. They showed him throw the punch and then they clicked out before contact, right? Then we all in a little hubble bubble and security come back out. Junior come flying. His security come running. They carry his ass off he clapping and talking shit like a bitch in the projects it was just real fucking funny it was funny it was messy um and lily crying and shit and i'm like well this is what you get see let me tell y'all something lily cannot blame anybody but herself for the way her life plays out when you can't find a man to treat you right when you can't get in a good relationship when you can't keep a roommate when you can't keep a fucking place to stay all of that type of shit you need to ask yourself questions about the role you played and how you got treated and the moves you was making that put you in certain positions to end up with egg on your face bitch cause you look stupid right now standing up there crying when you invited that dude to the party knowing Junior was gonna be there and y'all just got matching tattoos and y'all still fucking regardless to what y'all talking about if it was you you would have been mad you knew that wasn't the type of situation that needed to go down the type of woman that will be messy and sloppy with her business and don't give a fuck but then when shit all over the place she's sitting up there crying blaming every man that she had never been with because ain't nobody ever treated her right girl and that's t so basically, that was everything that happened on Black Ink Crew Chicago. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.